Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello and welcome back to the kitchen for another episode of Let's Eat Street. My name is Waz. This is Chef Nitesh, who again today is going to be taking us through how to make some delicious dishes. Let's not waste any more time. Chef, how you doing? Very good, thank you. And what have you got in store for us today in the kitchen? We are making palak chaat and nimbu kali mirch chicken today. Palak chaat and nimbu, and nimbu kali, kali mirch, mirch yes. chicken. Yes. Awesome, that sounds like we've got a lot to do. So let's get started. What are we cool. going to do first? We'll start with chopping some onions. And this is for the, the nimbu, nimbu, kali mirch nimbu kali mirch chicken, yeah? Yes, it is. Just, just for the benefit of anybody at home that doesn't know what that means, what is that going to entail? Basically, nimbu is uh, lime. Yeah. And black pepper, kali mirch is black pepper. Yeah. So we're going to make a chicken curry. Yeah. With lime and black pepper flavor. Lime and black pepper yeah. flavor. Yeah. Is that what these are for? That is, yeah. They're these lime leaves. leaves. They're lime leaves. Also called as kafir leaves. You can get it in any of the cashew curries. This gives us the lime flavor. Yes. If you want to smell it. You'll get you'll get a strong lime flavor in it. Yeah, and then are you gonna put actual lime in it as well? Uh, yes, I've got some chopped uh, lime with me, just in case if anybody's not able to find the lime leaves. Yeah. By all means, they can add uh, some chopped lime. Okay, but preferably what we're gonna do today is have the chopped lime and the and leaves, the leaves as well, yeah? Yes. So now we'll start with heating up pan. And oil. Who? Slippery. Almost drop that. That's it. So what's gonna go into here with the onions? We'll we'll start with adding some whole spices: cinnamon, bay leaf, a bit of cardamom, a bit of uh, cloves. So as the oil is heating up. Gonna put the whole spices. Let that get nice and hot. And I'll add some cumin seeds to it. Very little bit. This is what you want. You want the spices to crackle. Something popped. Yes. You see the Caught cumin. Them, probably. As soon as you put the cumin. Yep. Popping. Now we'll add the ginger garlic paste. Ginger garlic paste. As the ginger garlic paste is getting cooked slightly, the seed started sticking to the bottom. Yeah, so that's our sign, yeah? Yes. That the, that the ginger garlic paste is is on its way to get cooked. Now I'm going to add onions before the ginger garlic is burnt. So before obviously the ginger garlic gets brown completely, yeah. you add the chopped onions. Okay. So the ginger garlic paste is ready. Yeah. Onions are going in. Yes. In the onions, you'll add a tiny pinch of salt. Tiny pinch of salt. Put half a spoon in. We'll just wait until these onions get brown. Yeah. Keep stirring it. Why is onions 
usually used as the base for all of these types of things or, or curries uh, you, you're always starting with the onions what do the onions bring to it i think onion gives the the, mo- the most flavor you get is from onions yeah. so if you see uh, not all the curry bases are onion sometimes use tomato sometimes it's only tomato some of them have got only cashew nut some of them have got only spinach so it's not on- only onions yeah different uh, ingredients have got their different uh, but onions is the do, most yeah. common one yeah onion is most the common one it's uh, to be honest i think it's it's how they used to cook back in those days yeah yeah and then eventually that became a part of your life See, now it's almost making me cry. People are going to think I'm really passionate about this show. The <laughs> onions making me cry. The onions have gone a bit brown. Nice golden now. Golden brown. That's actually that's the right word. Yeah. Now I'll add the dry spices. Okay. To it. And golden onions are ready. A bit of turmeric. Yeah. Coriander powder. Cumin powder. Bit of chili powder. And garam masala. So mix it up nicely. Allow it about 30 seconds to get roasted so that the masala, the onion gets the flavor of masalas yeah and the masalas are cooked as well because you don't want the masala to be raw so once that's done for about 30 seconds to 1 minute yeah. i'm going to add plum tomato to it yeah where can people find the full recipes for the stuff that we're cooking Uh I think we're going to be uploading it on our website. So so yeah, they can obviously check it on the website. Each and every recipe that we're cooking on the show will be uploaded to the website. Remember the point of cooking this stuff for you showing you how to cook it step by step chef taking you through it is because this is all stuff that you guys can do at home. Uh so we're giving you lots of ideas especially for this Ramadan. For iftar time you can try any of these dishes that you've seen so far on Let's Eat Street. Really simple yet delicious stuff that everybody can do at home. I will just leave it leave it for about 2 3 minutes so yeah. that the tomatoes uh, get heated up and warmed up as well before okay. we added any more spices or chicken to it. Yeah. You want the sauce to be hot before you add you pour the chicken into it okay so we get our yeah. sauce ready and then cook yes, the chicken and then you, yes in the sauce in the sauce so the chicken it's not going to be pre cooked no no it's not it's all going to get just it's, get cooked in yes, the sauce yeah yes, all together awesome. yeah yeah so we we'll leave it for about 2 minutes and meanwhile what we can also do is we can get ready with the palak chaat let's do that yep ding 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 this tray ready here of course some washed spinach yeah I've chopped it a little bit, not too much. You don't want them to chop it like really fine. It's just a little bit. I'm not a fan of spinach, but you make anything delicious, so trust me, I'm gonna, gonna love try this it one. today. This one is, I'm, I think this is gonna be one of your favorite uh, charts. Setting the bar high with that one. Gotta impress now. We see I the had a lot of charts in my time bro. Yeah. Mm. I can guarantee you this is going to be the best one you ever had. Let's find out what happens. So now if you see it's bubbling up. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's right time for us to add the chicken and the leftover spices as well. So now the last bit we'll do with the spice is we'll add a lime leaves. we need coarse black pepper yeah yeah and we'll be adding some chopped limes again 
as I said, one of this will do. Either the chopped limes or uh, the lime leaf. We've got both. We got both in this, so the flavor is going to be more intense. Also, if you if you don't like you know if you don't like the idea of biting into a piece of lime, by all means you can you can grate it and you can use the zest of the lime. Okay, it has that. the same effect. Yeah? Yes, it has the same effect. Okay, cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my chicken to this. Yeah. Are we using chicken on the bone or boneless no, chicken? No, it, this is boneless chicken. Okay. This is boneless chicken, but by all means, you can cook it on the bone. Which one do you prefer? With this particular dish, I would prefer boneless. Okay, now what we will do is we'll cover the lid. So we'll cover it with the lid and yeah. let it cook. And we'll come back and check this in another five minutes. That chicken is starting to come together. It's starting to produce that delicious smell. We're going to find out if it tastes as good as it looks when we come back to Let's Eat Street after this short break. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Let's Eat Street. Our chicken is being prepared. What else have we got for today's show, Chef? The pilot chart. We'll just start the... Uh Pollock chart is that going to be a starter? Yeah. It is, yeah, it's a chart. So it's a chart. We'll we'll have to deep fry the pollock. And so what does a chart consist of? Chart. So just for anybody that doesn't. Yeah, so basically know. chart has got like yogurt, tamarind, coriander, chutneys and all of that, you know, so it's just a mix of flavors in there. Well, but what's yeah? the main thing in the chart? In this particular chart that we're making, the main thing is pollock. So this can be replaced with... It's not chickpeas? Say, no, there's not you chickpeas. You don't have chickpeas in chart? No. All the I, charts I've I, had, I've got chickpeas exactly. in Exactly. My chart is different. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, we've got the salt in here. Yeah. We'll put some gram flour. Okay. And a little bit of turmeric for colour. That's it. Very good. We we've like our colour on this show. Yeah. Only natural, no artificial. Only natural. So, we'll just... A little bit of water. It's like you said in one of the earlier shows, it's not just about the stimulation of the taste, but also the look as well. Yes. And how the presentation is, how it all comes together, yes. the taste, but also the colors and the presentation. Yes, it is very, very important because I believe people eat with their eyes first. Yeah. So if it doesn't look right, they're yeah. put off straight away. A bit more ground flour in here. I hope it ends up looking a bit better than that where yeah, it leaves over hundred percent. So now we've got the batter on our palak. Now we're going to fry it. We're going to fry it? Yes, we're going to fry it. Ah. Do you want to do the frying? I can do the frying. You sure? Yeah, fry things all the time. Ah, cool, then I'll leave it to you. Yeah. How do I do it? <laughs> so what you have to do is you have to put one leaf at a time. Oh, in into there? The fryer, yeah. Why did Why did you get me to pick this up? I never did. You did it. You want to allow it? No, no, I'm here, bro. Yeah? Yeah, man. Okay, cool. So this is how you have to fry the pala. Don't scare me. Yeah. I'll Wash leave this to hands. you. Yeah. And yeah. I'll get my hands washed. Let's pop in. How many of these am I supposed to be putting in? About 50. 50? Yeah. How does it look? Is that right? Yes, that is all right. Looks ready. We're going to leave this here to just drain the oil out, yeah? Yes, yeah. Leave it here for another two minutes. Let's go and check on our chicken. You see, oh, our yeah. chicken is now ready. Right in there. Ah, oh, I can smell the lime. Yes, that's that's the, the lime smell is really, really, really coming through. That is the beauty of this dish. Can't wait for this. So now I think yeah, this dish is ready. What I'm gonna do is 
sprinkle a bit of coriander. Yeah. That's it. I'll leave it on the side. Can't do a curry without coriander. I'll turn the gas off here. So that's ready. Okay. We'll get that served to you in a bit. Let's finish up our chart. Do you want this? Yeah, here, please. If you don't mind. Beautiful. Thank you very much. What do you, you recommend them? people have that chicken with before we start this? Uh, again, rice, naan bread, it's um, uh, completely up to them. But a plain rice, yeah. it's going to be the best combination. You know why? Because the rice is going to be plain. There's no, you know, with pulao rice, you have boiled rice. white boiled rice. That's yeah. it. Because if you have pulao rice or saffron rice, you, it'll kill the flavor of the lime and black pepper. So you're going to have it with something like really plain, yeah. so you can enjoy the flavor of lime, the black pepper, the chicken. Awesome. Yes, I think that's going to be the best combination for it. That's it. So we taste all our chicken. Yes. Okay. So here, what I've got for you uh, yeah. is I've got sweet yogurt, I've got coriander chutney, yep. and I've got tamarind chutney. Okay. Where do you get these from? Uh, I made it. Oh, you made them? Yes, of course. So this one has yeah. got yogurt, roasted cumin powder, yeah. salt, a bit of sugar. So okay. it's, it's, it's a bit sweet. This one is coriander, mint, lemon, green chilli. That's okay. it. And this is tamarind. We boil about our tamarind for about two hours and then get all the extract. Then boil it again with a bit of ginger powder, chilli powder, salt and sugar. I'm not going to even attempt to repeat that. That's a lot to remember. So check the no. website yep. and it'll be on there. Perfect. Just let's, like everything else. <laughs> let's start the assembly. What we're going to do is we're going to put this crispy Palak leaves in here. And the next step would be we've got some chopped onions. Yeah. We're gonna sprinkle them on the top. Mm -hmm. And we've got this chaat masala. Yeah. A bit of yeah. chaat masala Chilla on the masala. top. Yeah. Yeah. And now is the final step. It's not the final actually. Ready for our sauces. Yeah, ready for our sauces. So this is the yogurt one. Yes, this is the yoga. You've got tamarind. Mm. And the final one is coriander. Now we'll garnish this. So we've got save. We'll use some pomegranates. and finish it off with coriander. Wow. So that's a follow-up chart. I just had to stop talking there and watch you put that together because look at that, what that's transformed into. We were calling it leaves a few minutes ago <laughs> and now that just looks absolutely amazing. I know it's going to taste great, but it just looks amazing as well. I think that would be an awesome starter after a long day of fasting for your iftar, for you and your family. Something special, something different, but definitely something special like that. Awesome. Can't wait to talk into that. I've got a bit of a confession to make. He's still plating up the chicken. I couldn't wait. So I've got my hands on this. I just want to, I just want to tuck in. I just want to try it now that it's all come together like that. It looks so pretty though that I feel like I don't even want to mess up the presentation of it. But you know what? I'm going to get right in there. I'm going to get a nice big crunchy piece like that. You at home can use a fork. You can use a spoon. You can use whatever you want. I'm just going to get right in there like that. Have a look at that. That's our spinach, the three different types of sauces, our pomegranate and everything else that goes together to make this amazing, delicious dish. And I'm just going to go right in and get stuck in. Mmm. Mmm. Really good. 
really, really good. My family is going to be surprised because I don't even eat spinach at home. But the chef was right. He says this dish is going to change your mind. Mm. You can individually taste each one of those sauces. And everything else just all comes together so well. Amazing. Come on then. What's taking so long with this chicken? Spinach is already here. <laughs> I was looking for the spinach for at least five minutes. You know what it is? Sure, just let me know. That's how TV works. I have to just check this stuff first. Oh yes, of course. And yes. then obviously just and how make was sure it? that it's that it's all okay. Yeah. Because I can see you have finished at least a quarter of it. So how was it? <sighs> you know what? You're gonna get me in trouble. In yeah. all honesty. I don't eat spinach. At home, I just don't eat spinach. I never have. Yeah. And when I said to you, I'm not going to enjoy it. And you said, you know what? This one's going to be different. 100%. And you know what? You were right. Again, you've proved me wrong. And I've ate the spinach. And you know what? I really actually like it. I really, yeah. I genuinely really like it. Okay. But we're going to get back to this. Yeah. This is our main dish. Yeah. Which we're going to try. So you were saying that because there's so much flavor yeah. with that curry, with the lime and everything like that, it's best to go for a plain, a plain rice. Yes. So we can really get the taste yeah. of that chicken. So that's what we'll do. So that's our rice. What we're going to get now is we're going to get into our lime and black pepper Chicken. What did you call it? Nimbu and Kali Mirch. Nimbu and Kali Mirch chicken. Let's get that chicken on there as well. We know that it looks great. We know that it smells great. But how does it taste? With some plain boiled rice that lime taste is so much more powerful than i thought but it's still really nice it's really limey i've not had chicken like this before this is very different Hmm. We need to get more of this sauce, more of this limey sauce. What's great about these dishes is they're so simple to make at home. We showed you how to do it in in the time that we had, but it's something different. It's something that a lot of people haven't had before. I certainly haven't had it before. So for iftar, after the long days. Or fasting, you want to do something little, something a little different for iftar. This sort of stuff is absolutely perfect. Surprise your family. Don't even tell them about that lime. Let them taste it. And they'll find out themselves what a taste. Nimbu, kali mirch, chicken with the spinach chart as well come together so nicely there's so much more that we've got in store for you this ramadan so go and try this make sure that you do but don't forget to come back and join us again back in the kitchen with chef nitesh and let's eat street <laughs>